for HRS is like he wrote about St. Kitts slash Nevis John Timothy Gotti Harris. James Comey's much anticipated memoir A Higher Loyalty, Truth, Lies, and Leadership about the roughly 15-month tenure of President Donald Trump, reads like the Timothy Harris crime family. It reads like it's about Timothy Harris who is only concerned about his own image in the press and in people's minds instead of the financial state of SKN and the welfare of its people. The book on Trump to be released next W, Eek gives the stark impression that Comey examined Timothy Harris's unethical and transactional mafia-like approach which is far outside democratic norms that he is now a danger to SKN as he spouts conspiracy theories and untruths regularly. It's like Comey is writing that Timothy Harris is is unethical, and untethered to truth and institutional values, that Harris' leadership is transactional, ego-driven and about personal loyalty. It would remind the kid a vision that Comey writes about Harris's belief that all public servants should be loyal to him and write two paragraph weekly praising him, this one man instead in the democratic ideals and to the constitution. It is written that Comey writes that he worked as a prosecutor targeting organized crime, and from what he writes could compare Timothy Harris' transgressions to those of mobsters and the mafia. The silent circle of assent. The boss in complete control. The loyalty oaths. The us versus them worldview. The lying about all things, large and small, in service to some code of loyalty that put the organization above morality and above the truth, and the Harris crime family. It was Sammy the Bull's Cosa Nostra induction who would eventually turn state's evidence to help bring down mob boss John Gotti, Timothy Harris. Is Alexis Nesbet, Sammy the Bull, who was the first person to draw attention to Clecton Philip, Dwyer Astafan, Sam Condor, and Douglas Whatley that John Gotti Timothy Harris was thiefing the over $10 million of campaign funds.